Hi everyone, I thought about filming the Q&A video today and instead of filming it in my living room I thought it would be more interesting to go and film it doing something so I'm going to try a new walk called Castle Hill so let's go I chose that spot on the hill so that I can see if anyone arrives and I can stop talking by myself. I basically feel like a soldier looking for foreign invasions and talking about foreign invasions. Largs won against Vikings in 1240 something. I made it to Castle Hill, I think it's called. The view is amazing. I am somewhere I've never been before in my life. Look at the view in front of me. I'm also using this piece of fluff for the first time. I found out that these are used when it's too windy and so it should help with the audio. That's the town of Larks, I parked there and then I walked. And you've got to start from Douglas Park, actually, which is a beautiful park, which I also had never seen before, with a lot of blossoms, spring blossoms. Driving home with my shoes off then I found the perfect spot to take the thumbnail photo. Like as soon as I saw that spot, I thought thumbnail photo sorted. And while I was playing like an idiot, I saw obviously that a man saw me and was, was going, yeah, was walking my same path. And so I got off the thing, which I can't remember the name of in English, as usual. And I proceeded um, holding my tripod as a weapon, because that's the reality of when you're a woman and you go walking somewhere by yourself and there's no one else around. And maybe you're miles away from the town centre. I brought my tripod, which is great to take videos and photos and it's also great as a weapon and it's never a fully 
nice experience because you're always looking your back and I was listening to a podcast and I had to pause the podcast but thankfully nothing happened and I'm still here anyway I asked you on Sunday if you had any questions that you wanted to ask so I've got all the questions here look at how professional I am I only have six questions and they are all from people that I know that I met face to face. So thanks a lot for your support. I got five questions from Instagram and one from YouTube. I'll start answering the first question. Where do you plan to travel this summer? So this summer I'm going to... Ta-da! Italy! What a surprise, right? This time I'm going to Sicily, which is the only Italian, actually not the only Italian island that I've never visited because I've only been to Sardinia, but obviously you, we have other islands. Yeah, I've only visited Sardinia and so I could not wait to visit Sicily as well. I'm really excited to discover a new region of my country. I'm going there for a week. And after that, I'm going to Lake Como. I'm going home for a week as well. Those are going to be my summer holidays. What about you? Where are you going if you're going anywhere this summer? Let me know in the comments. The second question is, hey, when are you visiting Australia? This is from someone I met in Sri Lanka. In Italian, it's Sri Lanka. I would love to go to Australia and to tell you the truth I had a plan to go there I mean I had an idea to go there last year in September or October I can't remember because I had found a good offer the flight wasn't too expensive from Scotland to Sydney I think it was then I changed my mind because it's a journey which requires a lot of money and a lot of holidays as well and so yeah I've got to plan that well it must be an incredible country so different from Europe and at the moment I'm planning a big project and I've got to save for that so unfortunately as much as I would love to come to Australia I've got to wait for the moment also it's quite stupid as a reason and as a matter of fact, last summer in July, I was on the train from Bari city centre to Bari airport. I met two Australian girls who were doing a Europe trip. So they were visiting Italy, Albania, Greece, uh, the UK. And when they asked me if I would have liked to visit Australia, I said, I know that you're going to find this stupid, but I'm really, really concerned about spiders and as as I thought they would they did uh, laugh in my face and it's totally understandable because if you grow up in Australia you don't give you don't care at all about spiders uh, but I do and I would have a mental breakdown if I were in a hotel room uh, or hostel room by myself and I were to see a tarantula that would ruin the journey for me i'm not joking and i would have to leave the hotel room and where could i go because it's full of spiders in australia i would be afraid of sleeping i would uh, check every surface it would be an obsession because it was an obsession when i went to thailand as well and I saw rats, rats as big as my cat in the streets and also, what's that word? I was checking the, the street, looking at my feet the whole time. It was an obsession. So Australia would be the same. That's actually something which really worries me because if I were, now that I'm talking about spiders actually, let me check around me that everything is okay <laughs> um yeah i'm afraid i'll have to go with someone who can calm me if i have a mental breakdown for a spider i would need support but thanks a lot for the question then what made you come to scotland 
I came to Scotland after uni, after my bachelor, because I wanted to do an experience abroad. But let me say first that my grandmother is Scottish and she owns a flat here where my great grandma lived. Yeah, so at the moment I'm staying in my great grandma's flat. So obviously having a flat available for me here and having Scottish origins played a huge part in me choosing to move to Scotland. And also, yeah, I wanted to try out an experience abroad and I wanted to find a job here. But then I decided to do my master's instead. I mean, I worked as well as I've done my, my master's degree. And it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful country. I've always been coming here since I was a child. It's a country I love so much, especially when, it's, when the weather is as beautiful as it is today, which is not that often, not as much as I would like. Um, so yeah, I hope I answered. It's so it's more difficult than I thought doing a Q and A video because usually I'm showing places most of most of all uh, instead of talking and talking and talking. So yeah, I hope what I said makes sense. I was forgetting something important. I also came to Scotland because the place where I stay is connected to Glasgow and so it's really easy for me to go to Glasgow to do my courses, to go to the theater, to go to the cinema. While in Italy I grew up in a very small village with about 600 people I think and so moving to Scotland gave me the opportunity to try living in a big city even if I don't actually live in Glasgow but it gave me the opportunity to enjoy the advantages of staying close to a big city. I managed to study something which I could not have studied in my small village in Italy and not even in the town of Como, which is a, which is a small town as well. It's not like Milan, you know, then. What inspi inspired you to start a YouTube channel love your videos keep going this is from my cousin and thanks for the question um i started a youtube channel because i was between jobs and i had plenty of free time and i always loved youtube so much i've always been a big fan of youtube it's always been my favorite social media because i find it different from instagram twitter Facebook, I find it, it is, it is different because you can watch potentially hundreds, thousands of videos, you can learn new things, you can explore, uh, you can, you get to see places which maybe you'll never see in your life. You have access to other people's lives and you get inspired and you can wonder uh, how would it be to live in the Swedish countryside? I'm mentioning this specific example because of Jonna Jinton. I can't think of another show which lets you see that kind of life, which I'm sure you... Uh, like, they, they have shows like that. But in YouTube, like, with YouTube, it's so easy. You just type Swedish countryside living or whatever. And so, yeah, as I'm a huge fan of YouTube myself, I was inspired by my favorite YouTubers who I've been following since 2015. I think I started falling in love with YouTube in 2015 more or less. Before I was using YouTube, but it was always for music videos, mostly. My biggest inspiration, which inspired me to create a YouTube channel, is Marina. While She Goes is the name of her channel. Back in 2019, when I started following her, her channel name was Pam the Van, actually, because she was traveling around Scotland with her van, which was called Pam, and her beautiful dog, Odie. And that's when I thought, oh, that sounds like, that looks amazing. I want to try as well. And yeah, I'm, I'm really loving 
having a YouTube channel because for so many reasons, like it's a diary, so I can look back at my old videos and see uh, the beautiful places I was visiting back then. I see memories, I've got memories with my friends, with my family. I get to like chat with people from all over the world, which is also why I wanted to do this channel in English instead of Italian, which is my native language. Um, then, I'm sure I'm forgetting something else. Never mind. Oh, and then <laughs> Abby was so kind. Abby is a girl that I met two years ago and we were in a college here in Scotland. We were working as models in the photography class and we also worked together doing a photo shoot for a student accommodation in Edinburgh last year. And that's the last time that I saw her. Unfortunately, we never met since, but anytime I have a new job, I hope she'll be there as well. Abby also has a YouTube channel. The only person I know that has a YouTube channel and she has a lifestyle travel travel and beauty YouTube channel and she also reviews books and so check it out I'll leave the name here somewhere and yeah as she knows the struggles of being a YouTuber uh, she asked me because the question what made you come to Scotland was hers and that was the first question she asked me would you like me to ask more questions and I said yes please do because I only had four including hers so she asked me two more so thanks again Abby what made you get into performing uh, this is a very um, interesting question and thanks for asking this and I never said this on my YouTube channel so this is a first I study acting I've been studying acting a couple years now I attended my first acting workshop in 2019 and I fell in love with acting I actually wanted to start acting when I was 14 but unfortunately I never got to, I never I never started until I was 23 for many reasons I guess one of the main ones again is that I lived in a small village of Lake Como and it wasn't like in my village there was no way to study acting and I would have had to travel at least to Como and it wasn't very easy to um, yeah to go to Como uh, by myself at 14 years old I would have had to ask for lifts also in Como I don't think there was much choice either maybe there was the social theater the Teatro Sociale di Como I think they were doing some courses but also as a teenager you're very you always think about what people will think of you your friends your classmates and I was shy I was more shy than I am than I am today today I'm I wasn't obviously as confident and so I never tried but what really made me what really got me into performing is my love for cinema and yeah films tv series as well I always always loved um, movies like the film industry and so same as YouTube really as I'm a big fan of YouTube and I'm a big fan of uh, anything related to a camera and actors <laughs> I want to give it a try as well so that's it yeah thanks for the question Abby and I've got the next question from her as well do you prefer acting or modeling if I'm not mistaken, you like modeling better, but actually I like acting better because I don't really feel like a model. I never trained as a model and so I feel I don't feel entirely comfortable in front of a um, camera, in front of a photographer. I don't have anything against photographers. Like the ones I had were great and always very kind, very motivating. But yeah, um, I have, I always have a lot of fun when people take photos of me. Um, yeah, but I like acting better. 
it's fun because it's not you you're playing someone else you're not it's not your you're not yourself for a bit you're someone else and i just love it so much it's i do it that's why i do it because it's so fun to to act and that's it i think i answered all your questions i know this was a different video from usual but as i said previously when answering the question about australia i've got a project and i'm saving towards that project so i'm afraid the next videos won't really be about traveling uh, but don't worry because i'll be traveling to sicily this summer and i will be going somewhere else i will be visiting places in scotland as i'm doing today but yeah i'm staying more locally close to home in the next few months and weeks so i'm going to film more chatty videos i hope you don't mind that's the beautiful Isle of Arran, which I like to point at anytime I'm somewhere. <laughs> That's Great Cambria, that isle there. Cambry, Great Cambry, who knows. And there's Millport there somewhere. And obviously that's Larks. And now I'm going to get a fantastic ice cream at Nardini's. So I'm looking forward to that. That's the ferry which goes from Largs to Great Cambry. And from there you can get a bus to the town of Millport, which is lovely. I filmed a video about it last year in June, if you want to check it out. Have a great rest of your day. Subscribe, comment and like if you liked this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!